good morning. What a powerful, powerful song. This is the time where we spend a little bit of extended time with prayer. My name is Terry Smith. I'm with the Benevolence Committee. And today our prayer focus is going to be wise stewardship of your finances. We serve a powerful God. None of this that is happening in our world today has taken him by surprise. I know you've heard this a thousand times, but it's true. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns all the money in the world. He can shift it around any way he pleases. He will take it away from people and he will bless others. And that's something that we have to keep in mind. Sometimes when we're in a crisis like we are now, when the whole world is just in chaos, we have to remind ourselves that we serve the God who created this world. There is no one like him. So as we gather together today, and if you're at home watching us, gather with those around you. You can reach out to someone. You can call our prayer conference line. But as you go start to pray, let's think about these things. First of all, let's thank God that he is the creator God. He has created everything and he is in control. Colossians 1:16. Praise God for his desire to be our provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. Don't be afraid to ask him if you need something. Ask for God's wisdom. If you have trouble managing your finances, reach out to someone, but ask God especially. Ask God first. He will direct your paths. And pray that God's generous heart would be formed in us as we share what he has given us to manage. In Leviticus, God tells the, um, tells the people of Israel not to plow the entire field, but to leave the edges for the people, for the poor. When they harvest their vineyards, leave the vines that, or leave the grapes that drop for the poor and needy. So God has a heart for the poor and needy and for us. So instead of using all the finances that he has entrusted to us, let's remember to leave some for others. So I'm going to lead us in a prayer, and then I want you to take time praying on your own. And we'll have those four points posted for you to see. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, thank you for this time that we can come before you and lift these points to you. Father, we thank you that you have created this world, that you've created us, that you love us so much. We're your kids, and you never forget that. Father, we praise you for your desire to be intimate with each one of us. You have that personal relationship with us, and you haven't forgotten us. Remind us that we can ask you for help when we need it. And Father, we ask you for your wisdom in managing whatever resources you've entrusted to us. And remind us, even if we've messed up in the past, even if we've gotten ourselves in a mess, you are there to carry us through, and you will help us if we ask you. And Father, we ask that you give us a generous heart. Help us to be generous to those who are poor and needy and be generous to missions that are furthering your gospel, your love, your truth. In Jesus' name, amen.